everyone. The topic we were assigned to research was states of matter. Our natural phenomenon was lightning because our project is about plasma as a state of matter. Lightning is a plasma and during this video you will learn a little bit about it. We will also be asking you some questions throughout the video, so it would be best if you pay attention. To start, let's talk about what lightning is. To most people's understanding, it's the cool beam of light that strikes down from the clouds during storms. But what actually is lightning? What's it made of? Why does it strike the ground? And what are the different types? Lightning starts as water and ice moving around in a cloud. It's being forced up by warm air currents, down by gravity, and compressed in the cloud. Just like rubbing a balloon can create static electricity, the particles in the cloud become charged. It's not actually clear how it happens, but the charges separate when in the cloud. Positive charges move up and negative charges move down. Once a significant charge separation has built up, the positive and negative charges want to combine with each other and neutralize. Streamers come up from the ground to form a pathway for them. Once a pathway is completed, a spark forms, neutralizing the charge. As the negative charge races down, the air surrounding it heats up. The spark is extremely hot, at almost 20,000 degrees Celsius. For comparison, the sun is about 5,505 degrees Celsius. And, as the spark rapidly travels down, it also rapidly heats the air to create a shock wave that we know simply as lightning. Here is your first question. When a significant charge separation has built up, what do the positive and negative particles want to do? A. Move as far away as they can, pushing off each other, creating a spark. B. They want to combine and neutralize themselves. Or C, they want to create friction and make heat so they can strike down as lightning. Continuing on, let's get more into how lightning strikes. Lightning strikes by sending an electric current through a path of ionized particles in the air. This ionized path is created by the connection of positively charged ions and negatively charged ions. In a storm cloud, negatively charged ions are created by frozen raindrops that repeatedly collide with each other, as we learned a few minutes ago. They exchange electrons, resulting in a negatively charged ions. The other part of the path is made of positively charged ions. Positively charged ions are found in metals and other materials in the ground. When the negative and positive charged ions connect to each other, the path is completed. After this, the electric current, or lightning, is able to travel through the path at one-third the speed of light. This creates a bright flash that then creates a single bolt generating 20,000 to 40,000 amperes of raw energy and 20 million volts. That's enough energy to produce a temperature about four times hotter than the surface of our sun. The heat causes surrounding air to rapidly expand and vibrate, which creates the peeling thunder we hear a short time after seeing the lightning flash. Lightning occurs when there are enough negatively charged particles pooled at the bottom of a cloud. The front of a cloud is cold, causing warm, positively charged air to rise and help create a path for the lightning to travel. It's time for question number two. Where are the negative charged ions located in a cloud and where are the positive charged ions? A. Negative at top, positive at the bottom. B. Both at bottom. C. Positive at the top and negative at the bottom. Most people are only familiar with the lightning that strikes the ground, also known as cloud-to-ground lightning. During a storm, a hundred cloud-to-ground lightning bolts strike Earth's surface every single second, yet their power is extraordinary. Each bolt can contain up to one billion volts of electricity. A typical cloud-to-ground lightning bolt begins with a step-like series of negative charges called a stepladder racing downward from the bottom of a storm cloud toward the earth along a channel at about 200,000 miles per hour. Each of these segments is about 150 feet long. When negative and positive ions connect, an electrical current flows. 
As negative charges fly down the channel towards Earth, a visible flash of light streaks upward. This transfers electricity into lightning. Did you know that 1 to 20 cloud to ground lightning bolts are positive lightning, a type that originates in the positively charged tops of storm clouds? These strikes reverse the charge flow of typical lightning bolts and are far stronger and more destructive. Positive lightning can stretch across the sky and strike out of the blue more than 10 miles from the storm cloud where it was born. Some types of lightning, including the most common types, never leave the clouds, but travel between different charges and areas within the clouds. Other rare forms can be sparked by extreme forest fires, volcanic eruptions, and snowstorms. Ball lightning is a small charged sphere that floats, glows, and bounces. The laws of gravity and physics do not apply to this lightning. Now for the last question. Out of these three, what is the most common form of lightning? A. Cloud to cloud. B. Cloud to ground. Or C. Ground to cloud. Thank you so much for watching our video and participating in the questions. And we hope you have a better understanding of lightning.